Hello Blockineers, today we're going to unbox the Mel Chemistry Starter Kit. If you like what you see, you can purchase this at the link in the description. You can save 25% with the code LWB25. So let's see what's inside. Mel Chemistry is a monthly subscription you can get, and every month you'll be receiving a pack of experiments that will look like this. So this is the first experiment pack, it's called Chemistry of Monsters. So we'll be making two experiments in this one. First is the sugar snake, which will take 30 minutes, and then a foam eruption, which will take 15 minutes. Oh, there's an ER pickles. Next is the <laughs> oh, okay. So this is the starter kit. Warning, this set contains chemicals that may be harmful if misused. Read the instructions carefully. All right, let's open this. Over here is an instruction booklet. And it says, read the instructions before use. Follow them and keep them for reference. Everything in here is safe to use if we use it correctly. Subscription, if you're reading these words, this means you have subscribed to Mel Chemistry. Check out our website at melscience.com to learn more about science behind your experiments. Each experiment page includes the following sections. A video instruction, safety, FAQ, step-by-step -step instruction, expected result, disposal, scientific description, which will tell what, the, uh, what our experiments are about, and follow-up. Oh, okay, they also have an app, which will take a closer look at the molecules we're working with. But now I'm gonna see what's in the rest of this box. So here are the two safety glasses, mm. and here's the plastic tray. All right, so this is where we'll be doing our experiments, in the plastic tray. Oh, a little funnel. Oh, this is a vial. This is a glass vial. I'm not sure if this is glass, but it is a vial. And this is what we'll use to pour things in. And a bunch of measuring cups, I think. Oh, wow, this is a lot of measuring cups. No, 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 there's just one measuring cup and a whole bunch of cups. No, two measuring cups. Look, look at all these cups. This, this one, oh, wow, oh. This looks like if I drop it, it will break. Is it a pocket stove? And uh, it's made of metal. Oh, this is the clamp. It says macro on the side, so it's probably a lens, macro lens maybe. So that is our unboxing of the Mel starter kit. Now we're gonna take a look at the Mel Chemistry virtual reality app. So we put our phone inside this VR headset and the other thing the VR headset has is these two lens to put our eyes through, of course, and a button to select things, for example, on a menu. Okay, it says atoms. Oh, atoms, A-T-O-M-S. Okay, so the menu has six options that we can click on. We're going to choose the first one, which is atoms and solids. Oh, I see black pebbles. Oh, we're zooming in. Let me see. Black Let me see. Pebbles. It's time to unbox the chemistry of monsters. Welcome to science. There are two experiment booklets. One is the foam eruption, which has a difficulty two out of three and danger one out of three. And the description is foam erupts out of a flask like real lava. It takes 15 minutes, and for the safety, we have to put on protective gloves and eyewear and conduct the experiment on the plastic tray. Oh, they provide us... Then there are step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. They... And on the back, I guess it shows you how the experiment works. Maybe they provide us... Oh, the okay. Protective gloves. Yeah, these are the protective gloves that we'll probably need in both experiments. And it looks like there's a small and a large. Okay, so we are ready for our first experiment, foam eruption. So what we have here is the flask from the starter kit, 
a disposable cup from the starter kit. A big spoon, that's how they well, describe it. There's also a shot thing. Yeah, we'll be using this to measure 20 milliliters of water. We'll be needing the liquid soap, okay. a bowl, and these three chemicals. Okay, so one of them is the citric acid, which has 10 grams. And this one causes serious eye irritation if it's in our eyes. But that's fine because we have goggles. We also have gloves. Okay, it came with the chemistry of Monster. Uh, there's also sodium carbonate, which also causes serious eye irritation if they're in our eyes. And finally, there's anthocyanin, which is a food coloring. And this one is not dangerous at all. Oh yeah, and we have a wooden stick to stir. We're going to start now. The first thing we need to do is we're going to pour the food coloring, the anthocyanin, into it. Next, we need 20 milliliters of water. And then we need one bottle of citric acid in here. Next is sodium carbonate. Not too fast. Okay, next we add the liquid soap, which will later cause the mixture to foam. All right, we're going to pour the whole packet inside. I don't okay. want to pour it. All right, brother does not want to pour this in. It's going to basically explode. All right. So if it does. Pour in this. If we did. Oh, don't put the whole cup thing in. Oh, it's starting to go up. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, slowly put the final up, up, up. Ah, uh, it's exploding. And it explodes. Oh, oh wow. there's a bit of blue. Oh, there's all the blue and purple. Yeah, it does look really cool. It almost looks like it tastes yummy, but you don't drink it. How long is it going to take to... See, I don't know if it's going to, like... Take a like, whole day? Just... What if it takes How long is it going to take? All right, I'm now turning this so you can see where it's coming out. Okay, Google. How long does... It takes for volcanoes to erupt. On the website scholastic.com, they say, once a volcano has begun to erupt, it usually takes about 10 years before that particular eruption comes to an end. 10 years? Yeah, maybe this thing takes 10 years to erupt. I guess we'll just have to wait here until it's done. We're going to take a little break and come back when it finally stops erupting. The phone eruption is all gone now, and that didn't take 10 years like brother thought. It took maybe a good 15 or so minutes before it finally stopped. And now we have to dispose of the product. So uh, in the instructions, it says, dispose of solid waste together with household garbage, pour the solutions down the sink and wash with an excess of water. We're back and we're set up for the next experiment, which is the sugar snake. So this has a difficulty of two out of three. A danger level out of, of three out of three. That's the most dangerous. And it takes 30 minutes. So there's three safety things we have to do. First is put on protective gloves and eyewear. We have that. Conduct the experiment on the plastic tray and in a well-ventilated area. Plastic tray, well ventilated area. And then keep a bowl of water nearby when working with fire. I'll carefully get this to show you guys that we have a big bowl of water just in case the fire gets out of hand. Okay, so for this experiment, what we have is a small uh, funnel to pour things in. Three pieces of foil that they gave us. Matches. Baking soda. This is the only bottled thing we have this time. Oh, and we also have solid fuel, I guess. And uh, this is sugar that we got from our pantry. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. We also have a small stove, which we applied a thermo sticker to. And what that does is it might glow or light up if the stove is hot. So that's like a warning to us. It's time to start. So first we prepare a mixture of NaHCO3, which is baking soda, and sugar. So open the bottle of NaHCO3 and insert the funnel into its neck. Here we go. Now, measure three big spoonfuls of sugar into it. Now we're going to close the bottle. We closed it and shake for 10 seconds of soda. All right, there we go. And now we leave it. Okay, next we place a piece of foil on the bottom of the stove. Fold two pieces of foil in half. You'll need them to cover the open sides of the stove. Uh -huh. And now we've made our stove. And now take a, tab a tablet of solid fuel from the blister pack. And take out the tablet of solid fuel. And we put it inside. Place it in the center of the stove. We carefully pour the mixture into the re recess of the tablet. So now what we're going to do is uh, my dad is going to light the fire using a match. And kids, if you don't feel comfortable lighting a fire, you can have your parents do it. And when you're lighting the fire, be sure to take off your gloves because if you don't, your gloves could get set on fire. The sugar snake is now starting to grow. It's smelling kind of like s'mores. Oh, the thermal is lighted up. Hmm? Oh, wow. The thermal sticker lighted up. That means do not touch. Uh, I see it growing. Uh, and the snake is getting out of the oven. And now you can see the <laughs> sugar snake. Whoa. It looks like a big blob of poop. This is going to take a while to burn because, uh, again, like the last one, I think it slowly oh. grows. The, the snake is starting to go down, starting to get a bit sad. We're going to bring this outside before it sets off the fire alarm. Right now we're in the backyard and we're waiting for the fire to burn out. Uh, I will say that the smell is not pleasant, but at least now that we're outside, in the position I am, I can't smell it. And the snake just is growing like a blob of poop again. It looks like a burnt ma a huge burnt marshmallow. Makes me want s'mores. The fire has finally died out. It's been about 15 minutes. What we have left is black. I think it's made of carbon or something. Uh, so it's just a huge black snake. It's not really that huge because it's all contained in there, but it's covering most of the area. This was a really cool experiment, and I think I really liked my chemistry. I like the starter kit, and the VR headset was really cool. Also, the experiments were stuff I've never done before. Like, even the foam eruption, which was kind of simple, I haven't done that. And my favorite experiment was this one, even though it did send a smell around the house and it could have set off the fire alarm <laughs> because of all the smoke it was making. I think this box is pretty cool. I like it a bit more than Mel Kids. And, but my favorite project was probably the foam eruption because it didn't really stink up the house too much. And also it was pretty, it looked pretty cool and it was funner than this to do. Now all we have left to do is clean up. The way we dispose of this one is, oh, we just put in the household garbage. That's easy. If you like Mel Chemistry, which again is a subscription box, so there's many different experiments you can get, uh, then you can purchase this at the link in the description. Bye. Bye. Now I need to go wash my hands and I want to get out of here because of this. Oh. <laughs>